Okay, uh, this problem says describe all numbers x that are a distance 1 from the number 10. I'm going to start by showing this visually. Here's the number 10 on a number line. If you are 1 away from 10 to the right, that would be 11. And if you are 1 away from 10 to the left, that would be 9. So 10 to one place to the right is 11, one place to the left is 9. Now, they want you to express this using an absolute value notation. Let me explain absolute value real quick. Um, if you said that the absolute value of x equaled just flat out 10, that means there's actually two answers to this. This x right here, that could be a 10, but that could also be a negative 10. Because if you take the absolute value of 10, it would be 10. If you take the absolute value of negative 10, that would also be 10. Absolute value is simply a distance that you are from a number on the number line. So up here in the orange, when I go one to the right, that's a move of one unit um, to the right. <laughs> if I go to the left, that's also one unit. Distance can never be negative. It's directional. Distance, I'm either going to the right or to the left. I'm either going north, south, east, west. You know, I'm going in some direction, but it's always considered a positive movement which kind of goes against my instinct because I'm thinking, no, that's 10 minus one, which is nine. Yeah, but it's still one to the left. It's one unit. And when you're setting these absolute value equations up, um, since I have to get it, this one in here, what you're gonna do is you're going to let, then both the nine and the 11 are my unknowns. That's gonna be my X. And then, I know it's going to sound strange, but um, whether you're going 1 to the right or 1 to the left, you'd be subtracting 10. Uh, i do this in orange. If I did 11 minus 10, that would be 1. If I did 9 minus 10, that would be negative 1. However, if you were to put absolute values around this, they both end up being positive one, okay? So you just put your absolute values around the x minus 10. And again, we technically, I don't know what x is, but I mean, I see it, it's here. It's gonna be nine and 11. And then um, you can set it equal to the one. Whoops, I didn't mean to erase that. I'm not erasing it all. The absolute value of x minus 10 is equal to 1. Now if I solved that, you would say, okay, the stuff inside the absolute value, the x minus 10, either that x minus 10 was a positive 1 or that x minus 10 was a negative 1. And then when you go to solve this, you know, I'd be like, okay, I got to add 10 to both sides, to cancel that out. And there is X is 11. Over here, same thing. I'd have to add 10 to cancel that out. And what I do to one side, I got to do to the other. And then over here, I get X is equal to nine. There's your two answers, nine and 11, okay? And they said, describe all numbers X that are at a distance of one from the number 10. Express this using absolute value notation. Uh, let's use at a distance of one. Okay, well, that's what I'd be typing in there. Give me a black pen. I'd be going absolute value of x minus 10. I see they're talking about less than and equal to, but they said at an exact distance of one. There's only two answers to that. 
all numbers that are at a distance of 1. It should just be equals 1. If it had said a distance of 1 or less, then I'd be doing an inequality. Let me jump back to here and type it in. Let's say you can click on this AB right here and it gives you an absolute value. And then you're just going to have to go back in and backspace the A and then type X minus 10. Jump over the absolute value sign equals 1. How did I do? And it liked it. There you go. All numbers that are a distance of 1 from the number 10 can be described using the absolute value equation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I did it correctly. I hope that explained that for you. So whenever you're doing this, if they say that something is, you know, five units from 13, you know, if they said a distance of five from 13, it would be the absolute value of X minus 13 is equal to five. That'll make it so that when you solve it, you set it equal to either five or negative five. That'll make you move one, two, three, four, five to the right and one, two, three, four, five to the left. And if, thir if it was 13 right here, this would be 18 and below 13, uh, five less than 13 is, <laughs> oh my God, my brain. What's 13 minus five? <laughs> eight, <laughs> eight, there you go. Which makes sense because eight and 18 are 10 apart, five above, five below. Okay, sorry about that. All right, I'm gonna end this. <laughs>